Hello, I'm here at Stone Deaf 2018 with Onion Refuge. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm Alex, I'm the lead singer and the bassist. I'm Morgan Devaney and I play drums. And I'm Aaron Chambers and I play the lead guitar. Alright, cool. So firstly, what is the inspiration behind your band name? Um, to be fair, there wasn't really much of an inspiration in the ways of, uh, of what it meant. It was more when we were, we were very young and very rushed for an idea because we had our first gig coming up and we kind of, we were like based in a school and there was a sign that said refuge point on the wall so we kind of just went around that just fair enough like yeah inspiration comes from all places yeah like a school wall yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very inspiring yeah <laughs> not when you're looking at them all there no okay so although you're the youngest band on stone death's bill you've achieved multiple landmarks already have these successes brought you closer together and given you the drive to push further and accomplish more together uh I believe so, yeah. Um, there's always incentive to go on when you're, when you're obviously making progress. So uh, through the years, we obviously played a number of events um, that have built up to Stone Death and obviously we're hoping to progress further and, and go on as a band still. Um, but it, it is always a, a good incentive if you see that your hard work's paying off, I, landing a gig like this. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, we've had a few ups and, ups and downs on our way up here, but you just got to get on with it. and. Yeah. Everything goes smoothly tonight, hopefully, so, yeah. yeah. Do you want to say anything? Uh, it's just, well, for me, it's just, it's such, for all of us, it's just a big opportunity for us, and it's just, a, it's a really good, I won't say it's a starting point, but it's just the start of a new era, because now, like, the press and everything, it's a lot different than we've oh, ever yeah, done, they, they, it's this, a lot this bigger. Is new. Yeah. We've never yeah. done this before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I've never interviewed before, so it's a whole right, new experience well, going on. Yeah. <laughs> it's the first time for everything. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you're currently writing material for your first album set to be released later this year. Mm -hmm. In terms of lyrics, do you look to other artists for inspiration or are you inspired by your own thoughts and feelings? This is your question. Yeah, well, when it comes to writing lyrics, uh, I don't tend to follow uh, what other artists are necessarily doing or say I've got my favourite songs that have been released. I don't really base them off something that they've done. It's just more of a, what I'm feeling with the song. and. Um, there's a lot of times that just out of nowhere I'll, I'll think of a riff and like maybe a catch line all together just out of nowhere and I'll work backwards from there rather than constructing the whole thing and then thinking well what lyrics fit with that it kind of all falls into place but to be fair I've not got a specific way of writing lyrics it just kind of yeah. happens yeah. yeah there's yeah. also been a few times where we've just been at rehearsal just jamming through some stuff and we've come up with new riffs mm -hmm. and then we've wrote the whole song and then we've gone back and wrote the lyrics so it's just whatever you're feeling at that moment, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and you just gotta pick the best things from that experience and take them and put them in a new song. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you've cited bands such as Metallica and Avengers Everfold as influences. Yeah. yeah. Which band would be the ultimate dream for your band to tour with and why? I mean, question, Metallica yeah. for me, you know. <laughs> Metallica Child for me as well, yeah. yeah. Um, Probably the band that got me into metal and yeah, other bands come and go, but Metallica's always there for me. Yeah, like Ride the Lightning is just insanely <laughs> good. Yeah. Uh I'd probably say uh Iron Maiden, not too dissimilar from these, but um more I don't know, um uh, I find them it's a bit different. They're not as 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 thrash. Um so I like the melodic sort of stuff as well. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, so finally, Stone Death Festival was inspired by the iconic Monsters of Rock. What are your thoughts on the importance of not only remembering these days, but also keeping contemporary rock and metal alive? Well, obviously, we've got to pay homage to the bands that have started it all, obviously. Um, and obviously, we've got some, uh, some bands on this year uh, that link back to the early days of Monsters and Rock. But at the same time, uh, you've always got to give new bands like ourselves an opportunity to prove what they have. Um, to keep new metal and uh, just the metal genre carrying on because uh, you can't really stick with uh, the big four forever um, so you've got to allow uh, places like this uh, to showcase new rock and metal that um, that's coming through mm -hmm. so I think putting on younger bands and giving them an opportunity to play at a big festival and a big opportunity is, is, is really great yeah. to see it's yeah. important for them to get that experience oh, yeah definitely mm -hmm. you guys got any thoughts on that? Or? Um, well we've us two have known about it not since day one but quite early on because we entered the Battle of the Bands competition to open up and we weren't too far behind uh, opening main stage but um, just it's another gig we've got to go out 100% just 
do what we do and hope it plays off and get more gigs off the yeah. back of this maybe and just just got to get it done. It's been a very it's been we're very grateful for this opportunity because obviously this is something that we've never done before. Yeah. It's a lot bigger than we've ever done. It's a lot it's just new and this is a time where we want to shine and we want to make a name for ourselves, yeah. yeah. If we can. <laughs> well, thank you guys. Good luck with the gig later. I know it's a lot of pressure, but yeah. I'm sure you'll do great. Cheers. Well, thank you. Thank you.